hello everyone welcome back with the another video so in today's video we are going to cover uh, like uh, google maps and we will this we this will be our playlist of google maps so we are going to cover all the things that are related to maps and uh, so let's get started so let's set up our project let's create our project first of all so to create the project you have to yeah, you have to run this command so so i'm naming my project uh, react native tutorial okay so I'm naming my project like this so you can name whatever you want to name it so my project is creating and I'll be back when my project is fully created okay guys so our project is successfully created right now so let's open our project in VS code okay so now our project is open in VS code cd let's go in cd into our project first then we have to open it yeah okay so let's uh, start installing the react native maps so uh, to install the maps i'm using this library called react native maps so let's head over to the installation process installation instructions so here what you have to do first you have to run this command okay okay so first we will install this in our android so in android we have to go in android app source in our manifest file so android app source main and manifest file here here you can see we have to add this metadata inside our application inside our application we have to add this metadata okay uh, yep. and here you can uh, uh, your google maps api key so copy paste your api key over here this is it for android side you don't need have to do anything okay so let's now run our project okay so to run our project we have to type npx react native run android okay so our project is built successfully now what we have to do is to go in our app dot tsx file and uh, first of all what we have to do is to create a source folder in our root directory okay and uh, over here in my source folder i will create another folder of uh, screens and uh, inside this i will create a folder of google google maps and inside this let's create a index.js and name it google maps screen okay now save it and now in our app.tsx what we have to do is to is to return that google map screens now save it so as you can see our screen is showing over here and let's get rid of all other code we don't need that okay so let's get rid of all the code okay okay guys so now our code is cleaned 
okay so now what we have to do is to go in our this uh, screen and let's go to the documentation and here what we have to do is to first of all copy this import thing put it over here okay okay so after that what we have to do is to copy this thing and paste it over here uh, style sheet okay and uh, we need to import the style sheet from here okay and after that we have to copy this thing and uh, paste this thing inside this thing okay now let's just save it okay so uh, as you can see that google map is showing so inside the container what will i will do is to give a flex of one so it will take the fold width and height okay guys so this is how you can implement google maps in android and uh, now let's jump towards the ios so before jumping towards the ios let me um, show you like uh, what props it is staying like provider will be your google style of map will is coming from here and region like a focus region when your map is loaded what latitude and longitude do you want to focus on and what will be the altitude and longitude delta so this is the some uh, information that we have to provide in our map view okay guys so let's jump to the ios section so let me first uh, let me first close my project okay and uh, let's uh, come to the ios installation so for ios what you have to do is to come your come into your app delegate file ios react native tutorial app delegate and here first of all what you have to do is to copy paste this this thing okay and uh, this thing the top of like this and here guys here you have to provide your uh, api key okay so, and uh, after that platform will be 13.0 make sure that platform will be 13.0 so if you come to your pod file then make sure it will be like this now save it so after doing that what you have to do is to cd inside your ios folder and run pod install okay so now as you can see your react native map is installing okay now it is done let's run our project so i am running this project in my simulator which is iphone 14 okay so the build is run but we are getting an error so if you are getting the same error so let me show you how you can solve it so over here if we come to the bottom we have to add these lines also so in our pod file let's come inside our pod file and uh, it is saying after this before this okay so above this okay so above this we have to add these lines and like this and save it now run pod install one more time
okay so as you can see that our installation google map is installing 7.3.0 installation is completed and as you can see that these three things will be installed after the pod install okay so now let's uh, go one step back to the folder and let's run the project one more time so when you create your react native project it will take couple of times and when you run this uh, pod install after adding these two lines this also take couple of time so be patient when uh, when the installation is going on okay guys so as you can see our project is running run successfully and our bundling is going on so it's mean that all is good so let's wait for the bundling to complete okay so the bundling is completed and you can also see the logo of google oh, okay now, now the map is also show so this is how you guys can implement google maps in both android and ios it is very simple so uh, this is it guys for today's video i hope you learned something from this video if you learned uh, then uh, hit the like button share my videos to your friends and uh, if you are new then don't forget to subscribe so i will see you guys in the next one till then take care bye bye